Hey there guys and David here again and today I'm coming up with a brand new tutorial on auto tiling in Godot. So auto tiling in Godot is actually very complex. I don't know why they made it so but actually it's so so we're going to just go ahead to what we need to do. I'm gonna start by making a 2D scene and a child of it will be the Tyama fight obviously because we're going to be dealing with style sets here so i have this style set that i made by myself um using style setter it's actually the first style set i've made ever since and i just decided to test it out in Godot today so if you want me to do a tutorial on like style setter and how to make style sets like this or you can just leave it down in the comment section below okay so um, we're going to click on this tile map here and we're going to go to tile set. We're going to click on new tile set and actually this um, style sheet is going to easy 32 by 32. So I just want to set that here 32 by 32. Yep. And here where you have, where you have tile set, you just click that. This should open up and I just want to enlarge this so that it covers the whole screen and we can see well. So we're going to hit this plus button to select our tile. Okay, that's our tile sheet. And um, by default, um, I don't think this grid will show for you. But what you need to do is just come over here to auto tile. New auto tile, sorry. And just enable that snap option like that. Yeah. So I'm going to zoom in because it's kind of far. And um, we'll just start by doing what we must do. So first thing, we have to select all these tiles like this. Okay, so when you got this selected, if you're, um, as you can see, my grids are lining up pretty nicely um, where they are meant to be. But if yours doesn't do that, you can go over here to the snap options and actually adjust this offset and be like, um, let's say 50. Yeah, and just adjust it a bit so that I can fill in your tiles and all that stuff. For mine is 32, oh well, sorry, it's 0, so it lines up um, nicely there. Okay, you can also play around with this step, and yeah, but not with this separation. Okay, so we're, here we have selected tile, we're going to open that up, and we're going to go down to here where we have auto tile bit mask mode. Okay, I wish I could um, enlarge the screen, but my screen is very small, so... I just run into some crazy problems and I don't actually like that. So now I uh, just want to show you what this 2x2 two two means. Well, we're going to be using 3x3 three three minimal. Okay. But I just want to show you what this means. Um, if you come over here to the bitmax tab. Yeah, if you click that and you try to click on any of this. Um, sorry. I selected this guy um, at first. So if you try to click on the tile that you have selected. You see that it actually gives you 4 squares. One, two, three, four. So we are not going to be using four squares. We're going to be using nine squares. So we're going to be using three by three, um, three by three minimal. Uh, so that's going to give you nine squares per tile. Yep, and that's what we're going to be using. Actually, I'm just going to go back to region and select this entire tile sheet again. Yep. So go back to bit mask, and we're going to. If you, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm erasing this, it's just by using the right click. Okay, so I'm just going to be explaining what we need to do here. Actually, the bit mask, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be telling Godot what we want to place. The kind of tile that we want to place at every instance of time. So, the first thing, we're going to start with this left corner here. Left, co left top corner. And we're going to just... I just want to tell you something that you need to put. So each tile has to have um, this one at the middle. Each tile has to have a bit mask at the middle. So that middle is like saying this particular tile. Okay, that is like saying you're talking to this particular tile. But I'm not going to put it now so that we won't get confused or anything. So um, each tile has its own um, bit mask at the middle. There it must it's a must. So here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to say the only time that we want this tile is when there is one at the right 
the, the there is when there is one at the right of it um, diagonally placed towards it and one under it okay so that's the only time we're going to be using this left corner tab all we're going to do is we're going to put this um put one there put one here and put one here then that is going to represent these three tiles okay so imagine if um it has this middle one selected which is itself so it says this one we're going to put the we're only going to put this when this one is around so we're going to put that there when this one is around we're going to put that there and when this one at the bottom here is around we're going to put that there so we're done with this first tile and we're going to complete for all these other tiles so for the second tile when do we want to ever put this one first of all we're going to put that one at the middle there and so when are we ever going to put this one and we we'll only put this one as you can see is in the middle so is is when we can only put this one when there's one at the left and one at the right okay and there are three under it because they have to be three under it if not or yeah three or more under it if not it won't put this tile so we're gonna put one two three and that's it we're done with this tile is then we now come to this tile actually this tile will be very similar to this one and you see that you first of all you put in the middle and you see that you have to put here put here and put here so if you keep going round, you know that it actually follows a, partic follows a particular pattern and just the same time we're just going to put out that pattern here okay, so just do exactly what i do and you can actually think about it um how it works out it just works out the same way i just explained so now it's remains this middle tile over here and we're gonna ask ourselves um first of all put the middle okay and ask ourselves when are we gonna put this tile as you can see the tile set has already shown that the only time that this tile will be needed is when there are tiles all over around it so i'm gonna put this like this yep and we're done with this part of the tile set so now this other part is like a wall okay and i think i'm just gonna pull out my paint here so that i can really explain this so here is my paint and i just want to explain how this tile is going to be working this one here and this one so imagine if um, for example we have a player here okay so circles represent the player like for example we have two players or something then there is actually a wall here so this wall is actually representing this um, vertical one here that's how the wall is going to look and if you notice it has something like this yep and it has some kind of structure like this so this one is this middle one is only going to be placed when there are two covering it and this one's will only be placed when there is one under it okay so that's how that's how the system is going to be working and here we're going to just put um first of all put the ones in the middle and just put them here like this because this one this middle one wants to only put itself when it's in the middle of two other guys so yeah this is actually the vertical version of this so we're just going to follow the same pattern and put it there then this one is going to actually show i'm still going to put on my paint here for example um we get rid of all these things and we like there's like just one block here so one block here is actually sorry yeah it's actually this block and that the only time we want to put it is when it's single like this that's the only time we want to put it so we're gonna just put the big mask in the middle there to represent this time so yeah we're done with this part um, yeah and this is actually the complex part I'm not actually gonna be explaining this in depth but I just want you to understand the concept here so first thing um, as usual you put the middle tiles and yeah I'm just gonna draw it and I think you're gonna have to copy this and maybe like think about it um, later on for example um, as it's shown this way anyways let me just complete it so that I can explain everything at once okay so we're gonna put the there and yep put this way and put this way so this tile um, at the top left corner here is going to only be put when we want to like round off a corner so is when one is beside it um, and one is under it
but there is no one here diagonally placed that's why we want to that's the only time we want to put this pack okay so this one um almost same thing applied but not really this one is going to be put when there's one beside it and yeah there are two beside it one under it and one diagonally placed like you you won't really know when these tiles are going to pop up for you I don't think they are really so um, as important as these ones and these other ones here. Um, I'm not really sure um, what they. I've not really sat down to stress myself to think about all this, but it really works well. Okay, sometimes you 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 don't even forget the pattern or something. Well, okay. So for this one, we're going to project whatever we're seeing here. Okay, to this lower um, horizontal one. So as you can see, we're going to be going down, okay, we're going to go down, and here too, we're going to go down with the same number of bit masks, like this is two layers, and this one too, we're going to like project it, and this one is single, so we're going to leave it there, and we're going to end it by putting a, like, a horizontal bar there or something like that, so yeah, that's it. Then for this vertical one, as usual, it's going to be like the vertical version of this. So we're just going to go ahead and do that quickly. Yeah, as I said before, I'm not going to be explaining this because if I, if I just stay to explain it, um, we're going to stay here for about two hours. <laughs> so here, we're going to be putting, this is actually a cross, um, this is going to be a cross. And this situation is... For example, when we have like a cross, okay, uh, maybe we want to make a cross with our tiles or something, and this middle tile here is going to be that tile. Where is it? Yeah, it's going to be this tile that is here. So this tile will only be placed when we have a cross, and it's going to be placed at the middle. So this guy is this cross is going to be applicable to these other guys um but anyway so these other guys we're going to put a cross first at them and we're going to put one here and this is going to tell it when we have a cross and one at the right hand side there is the only time we want to put this for example if i erase all this um and i think i'm going to erase all these too so that i'm just going to show you what is really going on here if i put a cross you're going to see that this middle tile here is going to give us something funny and if I put one here it's also giving us something funny that's not what we want so we're going to select this cross and I'm, I'm also going to do it again without um, this guy so that you just see my point here so as you can see now it's giving us a nice cross and if you put one here see that it changes that's not nice and that's not what we want um, as you can see so we're going to select tile set for all those places. So now we're going to be selecting um, like a cross and that. Yep. And this one is going to be like a cross also, but not this side again. It's going to be at this side. It's going to look like it's joined. Um, let that not confuse you. So this one's um, yeah. This one also at crosses, but it's going to be at the bottom. And this one, sorry, at the bottom right, but this one is going to be at the bottom left. So let that not confuse you too much. Um, all these are just separate tiles. It, it will look like a, it will look like a funny, um, funny pattern here or something. And don't just let that confuse you. So here we're going to be putting in. Um, okay, let me just show you again. Let me show you another thing. For example, now we have a nice tile set. Um, if you pull one here, it doesn't change to something funny. And if we pull one here, and here, and here. So now imagine if we put one here and pull one here. It changes back, and um, which is not really nice. So we're going to do again, I'm going to do for those ones, which are these ones, which are these two remaining tiles here. So this one is going to be put when we have, um, when we have this kind of case where there's one here and one here. And the other one is going to be put when we have one here, one here, and one here. So um, hopefully what I said made sense and I'm just going to go ahead and explain. Okay, so here where you see this, uh, we're going to put something that looks pretty much like this. 
to show you that it's a cross actually but with two at this end and this one is going to be the direct opposite of that with this so yep we're done with our style set you guessed it right and if you notice one thing i don't like is this um icon style here is looking really weird like you want to start a style or something to have this icon which is not nice um so i'm just gonna erase everything up and i'm gonna go back to the style set click anywhere and go over to icon and i'm gonna select this guy as our icon because he looks pretty sick okay <laughs> so yeah that's it and we're gonna test our style set again as you can see the icon change and we can select we can we can make any kind of style with all possible combinations and everything is going to work out really nicely for us so this auto tiling is actually good if you have something like a platformer game that you're working on or something that you just want to be putting in tiles there and and it just arranges itself something like this um it, it, this is actually a very nice dynamic system for platformer games which is really nice um actually i'm gonna go through the last thing of this tutorial and i know we're going long but we just have to cover this last one so it's going to have to do with the collision and if you want to make like a collision for this if you notice if i make a um for example i'm just going to go ahead and make a rigid body and make a collision shape and a sprite sprite yep just to show you how um, this stuff works yeah this price is gonna be this guy and I'm, I'm just gonna show you that it doesn't have any collision actually I don't really need to show you I'm just making this so that when we have a collision you're gonna see it well okay so I'm gonna drag this guy over here and if I, flip, if I run this thing I'm not gonna run it anyways if I run it you see that our character just falls and passes it and that's not nice so we wanna set a collision so wherever you when you go to collision you're gonna see the square icon here or something and you're gonna click it and click on the tile that you select so that gives it a collision but this is the funny part it doesn't give it for all it gives you only for this type so this is actually a very hectic process um i don't know why Godot doesn't make like a hotkey for it or um tries to select everything and just give it the particular shape or something at least something to ease or work or something like that so, um, Godot hasn't made provision for that, and I hope they will in further versions of Godot. But we're going to just work with it the way we have seen it. So, here where you see the square, we're going to click it and click on the next tile. Um, I think I'm just going to fast forward this video because this, this is actually hard to do. Wait. Yeah. Okay. This is actually very long to do, so I'm just going to fast forward the video. Okay, so I'm done with uh, making the tile set um, collision, and that's all. We're just gonna run this to see if it's working nice. Uh, yeah, we'll just save it first and run the scene and see what it gives us. And hopefully, he sat down there really nicely. So, we've made this collision and made an auto tile in this video. We actually achieved two things. So, if you like this video, leave a comment. Actually, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section or contact me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Facebook. All the links will be in the description below. And if you want me to do any type of tutorials, if you have any suggestions, also leave it in the comment section or any of those platforms given. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.